I can't believe this! Less complaining, more running! Game over, man! Game over! Og Golar kick mog kill Og Golrock Mog Rook Kaha Oga Bakabaza Grom kill Zuda Zok Tavosh Oga Hanuk Nugash Og Gimakan Kaz Ravish Blarg Blarg Zuga Eldagatha. Fresnose. Kick Kageshogar. Kazamog il ka thrak reva. Hey, hey, is everyone here? I think so. James, never do that again. And turn off that damn Star Trek fight thing. Oh, sorry. How did you do that anyway? Huh? Oh, well I am part sword, but I'm also part iPod. You're kidding me. Unfortunately, he's not. You should have heard him 20 years ago when he was on an easy listening kick. Love, lift us up where we belong. No! no. See what I mean? Anyway, never do that again, James. Hey! They seemed friendly at the time. Ugh, Eric, is he always this much of an idiot? Hey! No, usually he's worse. Eric, you have no spirit for diplomacy. James! Didn't the human skulls on pikes out in front of the camp maybe tip you off that they weren't interested in diplomacy? Guy, the sarcasm wasn't necessary. If you have an issue with me, let's talk about it in a calm, rational... Okay, that's it. Would you shut your mouth for five goddamn minutes? Do you ever stop talking? Ever since we met you, you've chattered endlessly. Give it a fucking rest! I think you have anger control issues. For the last time, I don't have anger control issues! Ellers, let me possess your body real quick. I'm gonna turn him into a puddle of melted steel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not that kind of girl. Well, let's get moving. We still have to get through the marshlands before sunset. <sighs> More walking. Why the hell are you complaining? You're a ghost. It's not like walking takes the wind out of you. You don't even have to breathe. Huh. You know, I hadn't even thought of that. Eric, guy might be sensitive about not having a body right now. You should... <sighs> huh? Kit? What are you... No, wait! <laughs> ah, sweet silence. Music to my ears. Thank you. You're welcome. But I'm still not happy with you about this transformation mess, so don't talk to me right now. Oh, shut up. Look, I understand where you're coming from, and I value your opinion, but you're wrong. Well, you're an idiot. Come on, dude. Think about it. Which do you hear more often? You hear both. Oh, stop dodging the question. Will you two shut up? Nobody cares which phrase is said more often. I'm telling you, it's may the force be with you. Live long and prosper, dude. Hands down, the more famous. I said shut up! Jeez, what's with her? Well, it could be stress. It could be fatigue. Could be that time of the month. You say something, Eric? No, uh, just coming to myself. I thought so. Morons. What I wouldn't give to have another woman around to talk to. Hannah, I thought I sensed you nearby. Except that woman. Oh, I'd forgotten how cute you looked in cat form. Flame. This is a surprise. We're actually coming to see you. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Are these friends of yours? Traveling companions would be more accurate to say. Oh, well, any companion of Hana's can consider me an ally as well. I am Flame Talin, priestess of Elune, and an old friend of Hana's. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, anyway, I'm John Ellers. Paladin of the Holy Order, and lover extraordinaire.
Your hand doesn't count as a lover, Ellers. Shut the hell up. And I'm Deuce Ex Machina, mage and scholar from the kingdom of Nomergon. Oh, how cute! I've never seen a gnome before! You're so adorably small! Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size, do you? Right. And I'm Voli Ostermark Guy. Everyone just calls me Guy, though, because I hate my first name. Pleased to meet you. Oh my! A ghost! Well, not exactly, I'm- Forgive me, sir, but it is my duty to send all restless spirits and undead to their final rest. No, Flame, he's part of the reason we came to see you. Oh, I see. Must be quite a story. No, he's just an idiot. Ellers? Shove it. Well, come to the inn and tell me all about it. We have several extra rooms still rented. Most of my sisters have already departed back to Kalimdor. I trust this is everyone? Ahem. Ah, Kit. I was wondering if you were still tagging around at Hana's heels. Looks like he's still being as charitable as ever. Good to see you too, Flame. I see you're looking well. Especially in that see-through dress of yours. What happened? Did the Order of Loon suddenly start letting Victoria's Secret dress its members? Or did you wear that to attract the attention of the dwarves? Cute. Well, I suppose it might seem flimsy to you. But then again, you must wear all that extra padding to cover up your, well, extra padding. Why, you stuck-up, pointy-eared little- Ladies, keep it civil. Of course, Hana. Anything for you. Now come to the inn, please. You can tell me all about your travels. Well, thank you, Lady Flame. Oh, just call me Flame. If we were to quote all of my titles, we'd be here until midnight. I doubt that. I mean, how many ways does it really take to say whore? Kit! Uh, anyway, just a second before we go. Guy, see what you can do about finding us a ship to Darnassus. Me? I'm a fucking ghost, dude! How far into negotiations do you think I can get? Hey! Maybe they'll trip after they shit their pants and I can talk with them for a few seconds as they run away screaming. Fine. Oh. Deuce, go with him, would you? I'm on it. Okay, well, let's just... Hey, where'd they go? Uh, they left already. Why didn't you say anything? Didn't feel like it. You're an ass.